one. What do you see as the role of visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? Uh, well, in the film industry, uh, art is it revol the entire industry revolves around the art, and especially when it comes down to the storytelling, uh, the director's vision, and even like the DP work, the camera work, every shot, the angles, the backdrops, the lights, everything is is a big art, and um, what the story portrays or whatever the film is, uh, whatever the message is. Uh, has a big impact on society and what it's trying to say. Uh, new communications and media technologies make imagery almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on your field in, or industry? Um, wow, um, I think mostly it's going to be a positive because with the new communications technologies uh, we can uh, send and receive information or media or whatever almost instantaneously and I think it's a benefit because we can get things more done productive like um, let's say for example like uh, you're all the way on the other side of the world and you need to get money transferred or something like that or you need a file a document you're about to go in a meeting someone from over there can send it to you or even with a uh, um, web chatting and stuff like Skype you can do meetings over the line and you don't have to do you have to actually go over there, and it's very beneficial. Number three. What popular images do you see that are frequently repeated throughout your industry? Um, frequent images. Um, there's a lot. Of, when it comes down to the movies, and I've noticed this a lot, I'm not sure if anyone else does, but every year, or it carries over sometimes, but there's usually, it seems like, there's a theme that goes on, like we are currently going through a zombie phase. We have zombie TV shows, zombie this, zombie that. We had a vampire and wolf phase, going through a supernatural kind of like phase. And I feel like movies and industry, they have these secret meetings and they have these like, or something. But it's just weird because there's always these reoccurring themes that you'll see throughout uh, the industry. Like right now we're in the fairy tales. You have Jack and the Giant Slayer, uh, the Hansel and Gretel witch hunters, like weird ad adaptations of classical. Uh, tales and it's just interesting to me how it all comes out at the same time. It's just a trending thing that you tend to see. Uh, but yeah, that's something I see that's that's not necessarily repeated throughout, but it is an ongoing thing that there's a new trend. Um, who is one of your favorite visual artists, and or what is your favorite style of visual art? My favorite visual artist, and uh, I hope this qualifies. Um, uh, but uh, Steven Spielberg, uh, he was the uh, he did uh, Jurassic Park back in uh, 1993, which was one of the first like movies that really like captivated me um, and really wanted me to go into this film industry. But I was extremely uh, I, like no matter what genre it is or whatever time period, whatever it is, he manages to just execute it in just a beautiful way and helps to and he's really great at depicting that time zone. Um, but uh, the favorite form of style of visual arts, um, uh, well in this industry uh, I've started to grow mostly towards um, the writing and I feel like a lot of the art can be done through that uh, and uh, storytelling. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? Um, when it comes to the paintings, uh, I tend to look beyond just the beautiful colors and visuals and the style that they do, and you know I try to look for maybe what their reason is or maybe their motives for making such a painting. Um, I mean, I know some artists just you know they just throw paint and smear it around. And you got artwork, but you know I'd like to think you know um, you know if I'm going to write something or do something or film something and there's something here in that scene or this person's doing this or something it should have a reason why it's there and uh, especially with uh, the detail in some paintings they really you know make me want to push for great details and you know try to convey something that may uh, uh, make people think a little bit more and maybe enjoy and take in more from the beauty and the aspects